Okay, in this step we're going to uh, apply the ribs, they're so called, to um, the box and to the uh, basket panel. So one of the first things we're going to do is bring back our box, which has been sitting around drying, and uh, carefully remove the front panel from it. And so what we're going to do is take off, peel back the tape, and uh, if you've behaved, you haven't cemented the front panel to anything, and if you have, then uh, you might be in for a fight here. Looks like we did okay, though. Alright, let's see if our panel comes right out. Yep. And the servo spine also, which uh, should not have been cemented in place. So this is a loose part, and we're going to... It's meant to be loose, by the way. We'll return it to our part pool, and we'll use it later. Alright, so now we have back in our hands our front panel, which is still uh, unpeeled on both sides. We also have um, some other parts we're, we're going to need. This is the uh, from your clear parts, transparent parts. This is the basket front window. And these two odd looking guys here, these are what we call ribs. And we're going to put one on this guy and one on this guy, and that's what we're doing in this step. Okay, the first thing that we should do is peel only one side of this face panel before I do that. We're also going to peel one side of... Actually, we're peeling one side of everything. So just take the paper off of one side of each of these four parts. And uh, we'll get some banjo music for that, right? Everything that we're going to work with now is peeled. I'm not sure if I mentioned. We need six uh, bolts and nuts in this phase just to hold things together in alignment. Um, so obviously we're going to glue naked plastic to naked plastic. So um, let's get started. We're going to glue or cement one of our rails to the faceplate. So let's see, to get started with that, push... Uh, well, we should probably be a little more careful here. I'll show you. There's so many holes in this that I'm going to show you the holes we're actually going to put bolts through in this step. It's that one, this one, and this one. Uh, you can circle those if you like. Um, I think you could probably get by just by knowing where they are. So one is in the dead center about the middle. Let's get a screw into that one. Then up here, and then up here. Now we want to keep these held in place while we get this part onto the bench like that. Take a rib and make sure that you turn it plastic side to plastic side. So since we only peeled one side of each rib, we'll be paper side up on this. And there's only three holes and they'll find the bolts if you'll let them. So we want to let those fall. Get a nut onto each of these bolts. And uh, as in our other steps where we've used these bolts to uh, align parts and hold them steady, just get it down to where it's, you know, firm but not tight. You don't want to really cause any distortion in the plastic due to its flexibility. So we'll take the driver and again we'll do like the car lug nut trick. We'll get this one almost on just just till it starts to grab and go around to the other two, visit them, do the same. Just until you start to get some resistance on the driver. These long bolts make boring video making. All right, I'm just go around and give them a nice tightening twist. Same order. I mean, it's not critical, but I, this is the method I always use. All right, now for the weird part. We're going to inject cement like we've done in previous steps. Um, and we're going to put cement in a bunch of places uh, and there are a bunch of holes on this so again I kind of illustrate where we're going to put cement by circling them um, it's these sausage shaped I don't know what else to call them they look like little hot dogs to me these sausage shaped uh, cavities here are where we're going to inject our cement on this step but also these two kind of bean shaped 
cavities up top also are going to get a little bit of cement. And uh, it's the same as before, just flood them, flood them with cement. Here we go. And with that done, this is ready to set aside to cure. So we're just going to let that cement settle in there, create its bond, come back for this later. We're going to repeat that entire process now with the basket front window, which is also only one side peeled, and this rib, which is also only one side peeled. So we'll start by pushing our bolts through the same three holes because this this basket window has roughly the same pattern as the faceplate um, it's just kind of a subset of the faceplate so it doesn't have all the holes get that onto our little cardboard here and then remember plastic side to plastic side put this rib on get it threaded And we'll do this with some banjo music. And there we have it. The uh, ribs are installed on the machine, or the front panel of the machine, and also on the front window of the basket. And that's all for this step. We're going to put this aside also somewhere to cure and move on.